Okay, I restarted okay. the stream. It's at 1080p now. Uh, I don't think I, the last time I streamed 1080p was like I think during Nino Kuni. So it's been a while. But the reason why I'm doing it for this game is because since this is like mostly just a moving picture, it'll probably still look fine. Even at like this bit rate, you know. Oh, I forgot to change the title. Oh, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. I believe this is where Her Hervaris' uh, second half lives. Mm hmm. Of course. Lay in low. Oh shit, I forgot to get the campfire. God damn. That sucks. Of course. You're not getting through me. Yeah? What? 
shot. Bullseye. Hey. Hello. 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 You know, this place is not bad. Uh, I'm kind of just destroying all of these. I don't know if I'm max level, but I think the max level from what somebody told me um, is 16. So if everybody's 16, then I'm at max level. Looks like there's three more people that need some experience, but they're very close. It looks like all of them were captured. Hey. I'll take a peek. Bum, 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 ba -da -da -bum. That neck piece that he's wearing is insane. So many benefits. Alright, seems to be fine. Nothing else. Does the quality look okay, Lazarus? It should be more sharper. Uh since it had since it had, well I can't speak. Since it is at ten eighty P, you know. I've already been here? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done, so I just gotta go up here now. Cool. All right. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. Come on, read this thing. What does it say? Whatever. Margrin's fire 
cast light in all right whatever places. um just want to make sure that i consume all of the souls that are around here it's gonna run around really quick in case it is important because it seems kind of important you know so Don't know what the hell this is. Okay. Think I'm done. Yeah. Okay. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. Another turn, Inquisitor. <laughs> I ask again, Yovara Exensios. Do you confess to these heresies of which you stand accused? Do you confess to apostasy? I confess to renouncing a mistake. Do you confess to conspiracy against the one true faith? I confess to opening minds. Do you confess to false prophecy? I confess to following a false prophet. Indeed. And where might we find this heretic? He wears the robes of a Grand Inquisitor. You have no followers here, heretic. Your lies hold no sway in the court of the penitents. Only my truth, then. Another turn. <laughs> no! Wait! Wait! I'm ready. I'm ready. You are ready to give a confession? I am ready to hear one from you. That was cool. Not the torture part, but you know. Okay, so uh, let's hope for the best. If I die, I die, you know.
Uh, 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 okay. All right. One sec. I need to, uh, make sure that I get the resolve check done. So I'm just going to boost my stats up really quick. Also, uh, this might be the final thing, the, the final part. So I'm going to make a game save here. Before the last mission. I am not sure if it's the last before the last mission, but we'll see, you know. Um, I, I just want to save it so that way, in case it is, I can still come back at some point. Okay, uh, it said I needed 17 resolve. I currently have 12. Sixteen, and if I use my okay, You know me, I'm all about that standard, you know. I don't know what uh, achievement I just got, though. But we'll see. After what seems like an eternity, your rapid descent comes to an abrupt end. You remain still for a moment. I'm going to just replay this because I usually do do that. Uh, so before you, just a waiting. An eroded walkway becomes faintly visible in the dim light, cutting a winding path through a cavern so expansive it seems a world unto itself. I'm just gonna grab uh, some food really quick because I need to eat. So I will be right back. I'm gonna take this chance to do that. So I'll be right back. And I'll, I'll replay this and then listen to it. The ancient trail. You look above at the opening you jumped through. Now barely a speck of light like some distant star alone in the cosmos and forever out of reach. Your only way lies ahead.
basically got bomb and uh and a bread and then i got two slices of bread and the kebab is in the middle of that it's great i call it the kebab the poor man's kebab sandwich you know great anyways let's uh replay after what seems like an eternity your rapid descent comes to an abrupt end you remain still for a moment while your heart settles and your eyes adjust breathing in stale forgotten air before you a narrow and eroded walkway becomes faintly visible in the dim light, cutting a winding path through a cavern so expansive it seems a world unto itself. In the distance, you can make out the cold gleam of living Audra veins that spike and fork in and out of view from the murky depths beneath, their glow a faint and fleeting guide along the ancient trail. You look above at the opening you jump through. Now barely a speck of light like some distant star, alone in the cosmos, and forever out of reach. Your only way lies ahead. Hey. Well, that went better than I expected. I think that statue of Woodica was watching us soil ourselves on the way down. Everyone all right? No shattered knees? Good. Just me, then. That was bracing. discreet. All right, then. And the fire shows me something new. This I have... Am I the only one here starting to nod off? The break might be in order. So in case you plan on playing this game in the future, or you are currently playing this game, I do not recommend watching this because I think this is the ending parts of this game, so...
See what lies this way. Of course. Yeah, it's not that big. Okay. Something over there. See what lies this way. On the hunt. That's settled. Something? Pay brothel rates just to nap. All right, then. Shh. 
see now what the flame has shown us? He does it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm going a bit slow. I'm like doing other stuff while I do this. Thing is, that's exactly what I was going for. That's no Am I the only one here starting to nod off? The break might be in order. All right, then. Yeah, apparently uh, the Theos fight is kind of difficult, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what makes that difficult. And then hopefully counter it. Or not, and just die. That's also possible. Oops. Following your Hello? 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 
Of course. <coughs> I hope this is not a sign that the cough is back, but uh, I don't think it is. Jeez. Wouldn't make sense. Starting to slow the pack. Can we sit for a spell and relax? I can do that. That's settled. All right then. Keeping an eye out. Hmm. That's suspicious. Whoa. Imagine playing a playing the game like this. Like. Like slow mode, man, it would take you so long, probably like six months or something, because you'd be just going, yeah, you'd be insane. You've come back. I had thought to have set you on the right path ages ago. Or did I merely fail a second time? You are so different now from who you were then. Yet much remains the same. Old troubles with a new face. What is it that has brought you here? A gallant gesture, if a bit misguided. And yet I suspect there is more to this than you have said. I can only guess your presence here has something to do with Deus. The energy of this place changes when he is near. I don't know what he has done, but I do know of the souls that pass through here now. They do not come by choice. After all this time, he would still stand against the tide. I will tell you what I remember. I can see his influence, still hanging like a weight about your neck. So it always was. He had inspired something in we spoke of him the last time you were here also. It was just after the trial. You were... agitated. I think because you started to consider that what I was teaching may have been true. ...that the gods aren't real. <laughs> I'd dreaded the idea from the moment the Delamgon suggested it. And yet, it almost feels like a relief. She's not serious. <laughs> Perhaps not to her. 
Many are those whom the gods have scorned. This is petty retribution. Nonsense! Clearly she has not been on the receiving end of a god's ire. She'd know how real the gods can be. <laughs> There's a theory puts my boldest to shame. But we ourselves have seen the gods' influence. What I taught was that the gods whose faith we had been spreading were not gods at all, but something else entirely. Something created by people. The Anguithan missionaries all knew it, but they never told the rest of us. They meant it to be a secret that died with them, and in the end, they allowed their bloodlines to fade from memory. I had been assigned to join a few of them at a temple. I found the door to their chambers closed, but the room was stone and the door thin. Their voices carried. I heard... enough. I investigated the things they spoke of, and everything was there, just as they said it'd be. I never thought of it as faith, but I think you are right to call it that. Let the world see. Let them decide what to do. That was my faith. I became a missionary because the gods brought me hope that I wanted to bring to others. For a time, the truth sent me to a dark place. Then the day came when I realized nothing had changed. That I still had a purpose, and the purpose was the same and it was worth living for. I began questioning the other missionaries in public, exposing their parlor tricks. In time, their following became mine. They were conceived by Engwith, a society of high minds and broad concerns. Theos' people. In their time, every people worshipped its own god. Sometimes they warred over it. After a few wars of their own, the Anguithans sought an end to it. They devoted all their energy to finding the true creators. Generation after generation, they prodded and worked the stitching of the world and unlocked its secrets. One day, they found an answer. Except the answer was no answer at all. There were no gods to be found. Or if there ever were, they were gone. It shook them, this finding. If they could discover this on their own, how long until others would? How long before war and chaos reigned over a world without consequence? But they had mastered many things in their pursuit of these answers. And with their mastery, they crafted their own gods to fill the void and sent missionaries to the corners of the world to spread their faith. You know, it is interesting uh, because um, sometimes when you talk about religions in, in general, um, <clears throat> usually the topic that comes up is like, if there was no God that was that was deciding for us or that was looking at us and seeing if we were doing good or bad then everybody would just do bad you know what i mean and that's like a really bad reasoning so but uh that's a very interesting <clears throat> correlation is i wonder if i'm using the word wrong i don't know but you could see like because they're basically thinking this they're basically talking about that exact subject but the way that they're writing it is like it's not really hinting it's hinting towards it but if people don't think about it then it doesn't really matter you know what I, you know what i mean but it's a uh, it's pretty cool that they have stuff like this you asked me this once before nothing i can say would be any proof and it may be certainty your soul craves resolution 
But if you are bound for the same place Theos directs these souls, you will see for yourself as you once did. Everyone faces this truth at one time or another. Few confront it. Few have the stomach to ask what if. And in avoiding the question, they deny themselves an identity of their own. So in uh, Pillars of Eternity 2, they're going to actually have an uh, option in which you can actually click on the dialogue and it will just r repeat the voice lines uh, again, which is pretty cool. What if all the tragedy, all the persecution, came in defense of an imposter? But that's not... That, that can't be right. Aethys, he... He's done miracles for people. The power of the gods is undeniable. The truth of the story they weave is not. What if it were forbidden knowledge rather than fault that earned your doom? What of your guilt? my own eyes the deceptions of my goddess the watcher has shown me as much but it was not until now that i understood how truly desperate she was the depths of her deception you speak of her deceptions but what of your own was it her words that led you down your path or was it the absence of her words a gap that you filled with your own broken thoughts What if you had always been alone, without guidance? Well, as poorly as I've chosen my guides, I suppose it would be a comfort to know that I'm free of them. The freedom has always been. It was the guidance that was the illusion. Sorry, one second. Just if all our common threads are spun from a lie, what's left to bind us together? For thousands of years, the Anguithan lie clouded our sight. How can we claim there is no other way when we never had the opportunity to discover one? There are answers out there still, in places we've never thought to look. What if neither guide knew the way? How then would you choose a course? Wow teaches us that the gods cannot give you lasting wisdom. They can only inspire you to find wisdom in your own time. What if we can be short of nothing? There is bliss to be found in the things we create, but sorrow as well. Every creation bears the imperfections of its creator, and its creator's creator. Art and song are creations, but so are weapons and lies. We must be careful that our creations do not consume us. I ask these things not to trouble you, but to show why they must be confronted. No answer is simple, but somewhere between them all lies a truth so beautiful, not even a god could conceive it. Do we not owe ourselves a chance to find our part in it?
that is truly what you believe, then you are a far different person than the one I knew. I've been alone here with my thoughts for so long now. I've found peace with my failures and with my punishment. I no longer curse fate for what might have been. But there is one thing that has clawed and scraped at my mind all these years. One thing that will not be put to rest until I know. Until I understand. I need to know why you chose to remain with the Inquisition, even after you'd learned the truth. Do you... Do you remember? I don't remember, actually. I don't even know what she's talking about. But I assume that she kind of wants an answer. But I think do doing this will pretty much be like, oh, he didn't have a reason. That doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to go with this. Afraid of Tao, Deus, or whatever. Woodica gifted him a great many things, but his ability to manipulate was always his own. The things I taught, the things I believed, I needed to hear that. I needed to know it wasn't because... We knew little of each other before you arrived at my camp. You might have been anybody. Which is why your choice meant everything. You had heard both sides, seen everything. If not you, then who? I'm aware of the folly of trying to learn so much from so little. I've had time to consider that in all its facets. But in the end, it was all I had. Even knowing what you've told me, some part of me knows it doesn't truly answer what I wished to know, nor will an eternity of silent contemplation. I will have only my guesses and suspicions, and that will have to do. And what of your understanding of our past? Are you at ease with the choice you made? You have always had my forgiveness, no matter your reason. There are circumstances behind that reason we all share. Knowing that, it is difficult to hold spite in one's heart. At first I thought this might be the source of your soul's anguish, but now I see I was mistaken. You are not divided on this matter. You have put it behind you. It is with Theos that your agony lies, in sun and shadow. Your questions are not for me, but for him. And it may be that only an answer from the mouth of Theos himself will satisfy your needs. Yet if there is anything I can tell you that would be of use, ask and you shall know. In a matter of speaking, this is Freyeth Yamin, the court of the penitents. Souls are confined here until they repent. They must beg the forgiveness of a god, pledge their soul to them, and they will be lifted from this place to the world above. In truth, they receive leniency, but not true mercy. The spite of Wittica is eternal. They linger above, at the side of the old court, and are not permitted to leave the island, forever severed from the cycle. This prison was full once in the days of the Inquisition. But time weathers all things, even will. 
I'm the only tenant who remains. Yet, I feel their presence strongly now, as it was in the beginning. You have brought many of them here. They cry out for the judgment of Theos. You have struck some bargain with the gods, then. They aid you because they would bend you to their own purposes. Angwith built gods from ideals, and an ideal on its own is a grotesque and vicious thing. But these souls, these forgiven the gods have bequeathed you like chattel. They were loyal followers in life. They will be with you to the very end. Last time someone asked me that. I was bound to an iron wheel with a broken spine. There are many things I've come to doubt about the choices I made in life. But that trial was my one moment of certainty. Even without a chorus of gods to tell me I had been right. The gods need to be reminded that we have a spirit, and that spirit is proof against their power. They have the power to manipulate and confuse and ruin us but not to change our will. I will remain here until the world crumbles and fades from existence with joy in my heart, knowing I've shown them what they truly are. I could not say for sure, but you have been to Sun and Shadow before, and it came at a crossroads in your life, when much of what you knew had been upended. I have to believe it will come to you there. Your concerns then were of loyalty and trust and the gods. Everything I told you seemed to send you further into doubt. His words mattered to you when you knew him then. After you and I spoke, you went immediately to seek him out. Perhaps you simply sought confirmation from the man you trusted. If something from that time still troubles you, it may be something he told you then, or refused to tell you. He keeps secrets better than any in this world. He cares only for the secret he keeps locked away. He destroys anyone who might discover it, no matter their chances. That's why he's always favored Woodica. It isn't in her love of promises or justice. It's her disregard for the rules. Her willingness to do what is necessary. To Theos, she's not a deity, but an ally with which to conspire. When her power waxes, she does as she pleases with this realm, as well as hers. And she wants that secret guarded as much as he. If Theos succeeds, there will be a shift in the balance of power among the gods. Woodica was vanquished once when the other gods decided she had gone too far and her power diminished. With this infusion, there is no telling what she will do. The only certainty is that there will be chaos in their realm as well as ours. You will not find a more resolute being on all of Eora. There is no offer you could make, nor spell you could cast, nor pain you could inflict that would make him reveal what he hides. But I see you have become a watcher in this life. Perhaps in defeat, when he can no longer defend himself, you might learn something from him. Theos will not wait for you. If you do not catch up to him now, you may never find him again. Your soul deserves an end to its suffering. I'm sorry I wasn't able to grant it myself. 
May it come to you swiftly. If ever we should meet again, in this life or any other, I hope to find you at peace. Hey. Hello. That was cool. Hello? Of course. So, it's true. The gods are a sham that people have followed for thousands of years. <laughs> well, doesn't that just beat all? Here I was, wondering all this time whether all these terrible things were people's fault or the gods. Turns out they might be the same thing. Wonder how things would have gone different 15 years ago if the raid Sarens had been told their god was made in some forge or kiln someplace. Would we still have gone to war? I could see the rebellion still happening, but I don't know that they would have invaded. I don't know. When Woden left for war, we, uh, had a fight. As brothers will. About him going off to war. He was set on it. And my parents warned him. They said you get a new country with every trip across the border, but your god, you only get the one. For me, I didn't know who was right. All I knew was I didn't want him to go. It's the same for families as it is for gods. You only get the one. I said every vicious thing I could think of, trying to change his mind. He brushed it off. Just got me madder, of course, him being so calm. He said I should come with him, but he'd understand if I didn't want to. I told him he'd better be able to face his god one day and answer for what he'd done. He said he'd keep that in mind. And then he was gone. By the time I had cooled off, months had passed. One morning it dawns on me that my brother always knew better than me. If he was so sure of what he was doing, then I should be there with him. I packed my things and was on the road that same morning. Of course, what I didn't know then was he'd already changed his mind. By that time, he was dead on that field. If I'd have left with him, we'd both be dead, so I don't know why I bother thinking about it. I found my own way in the end, and it wasn't my brother's, and it wasn't my god's. I don't know if it was right, but I couldn't abide what Widewin was doing to his own, god or not. I don't regret it. Whether Widewin was Aethys, well, it hardly seems to matter after what we just heard. All these questions I've been trying to figure out. I think I just miss my brother. Cross my mind. You live in a place like Gilded Vale. You don't have a whole lot else to do other than think about things you don't want to think about. I hope that wasn't it. I hope he went there because it's what he thought was right. Seems I'm not meant to know. Still one more mess we gotta straighten out. Come on then. I still owe you one. We've been lied to. Our whole lives. And many lives before that. And it's led us to put our faith in a pantheon of gods that never deserved it in the first place. Well, I guess uh, based on what we're seeing around the world right now, I don't know 
I said they are more misinformed though, so this is probably right. Deus is wrong. Most people are fundamentally decent, knowing the truth can only make them better. Uh, and I think part of the reason why <clears throat> in our modern world uh, we have a lot of those troubles and whatnot is because many of the people are misinformed uh, by people that want them to be misinformed, you know? Um, so I guess I'll just pick this. I could go deeper in, into it, but it's a game, so might as well just. You're right. People would be better off finding direction on their own than following this farce. Besides, the gods haven't exactly done much to prevent us from slaughtering each other. If anything, they've only given us more pretenses for doing so. Seems like that's all they've been doing of late. I've also been thinking. There won't be much left of Theos by the time you're done with him, if I know how you operate. That will leave the Leaden Key headless. Perhaps it's best it stays that way. I don't think that's a good idea. I think that having Aloth be the head and basically still drive them, but to a purpose that's not really anything malicious would probably be a better idea than to keep it headless because it will definitely have another head somebody a lot less dangerous but still this is unexpected coming from you why keep it going then let's face theos when this is all over, I'll remember what we've been through. I'll see the Leaden Key transformed into a stronger, better guide for Kith. And I won't make the mistakes they did. Hey. Yeah, that's kind of what I want from him. And what does the flame reveal? I don't know why I'm walking, but... Alright, I guess the only way is down. Uh, it's, it's currently 4.10 a.m. in the morning, so I'm going to be, I'm going to be done very soon here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to fight Theos today. I'm probably going to fight him tomorrow because uh, I heard that it's a pretty difficult fight. So I don't want to like, like keep on spending time with him and, and then, uh, then just, you know, and then stop. So what I'll do is I'll spend... I'm just going to see what this is, and then if this is Deos, then I'll just reload the game and call it. And then tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll beat him. Yeah, I think this would be actually a great place to end it. And then I'll continue on and explore this area and then fight Deos and hopefully beat him. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day. And uh, maybe I'll see you around. Oh, I guess I must will level as well. Alright, hey. and that's it, I'm done. So, thanks again, and uh, hasta la vista. Till next time.